Wait, was it filming the first time? <laughs> Nick. No, 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 no I didn't okay. hit the button the first time. That's all right. I keep the keep it rolling. We'll use this for the intro. I think it's working. Yes. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to Grayson Highlands once again. Uh, we are looking for, our, I'll let Stefan tell you, how much snow is falling tonight? So we're looking at 11 to 17 inches of pow pow coming down in Grayson in higher elevations. And five degree wind chill. Yeah, five degree wind chill. So this will be the coldest that we've ever camped. Um, we're gonna get there at seven o'clock we get up on the trail. The snow starts at 8 p.m. And then uh, it's not going to stop snowing for the next eight hours, which is crazy. We've got all the gear. we got the GoPro. We've got the 20X Mark II. We've got the Nikon. C6. Six. Six. Oh, yeah. we got everything. All right, we'll be there in two hours. Yeah, that's going to get cut. All right, guys, change of plans. We're going to the back side of Mount Rogers. And we got chased out by park rangers. Yeah, he was he was very pleasant. Um, because there's going to be s literally 18 inches of snow, um, he said in that scenario it might actually take a couple of days to get out due to the priority level of the snow plows with that much snow in the state. <laughs> so. He didn't want to eat him salting crackers for three days, which we actually don't even have. We only have enough food for... I have, I've got baked beans in the back. Do you? I do. I'll fight you for it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he said there's a spot up here. It's right off the main road. Free oh, yeah. parking and direct access to Mount like, Rogers. A quarter mile closer. Yep, a quarter mile closer. And we don't really we don't really care about Mount Rogers. We got yeah. we got a lot of other vistas that we like to uh, do photography at, which is the point of this trip. Uh, but yeah, starting to get some clouds. Yeah, starting to get some clouds. We're looking on gas. We got 95 miles. And now it says we have light rain again. I'm sure it's gonna change two or three oh, more yeah. times. Oh yeah, I I don't. Uh... Yeah, but we're getting in the fog now, so yeah, we'll just see up here what happens. I'm gonna shine the light right at me, like in my face. All right, guys, we are at the trailhead, and uh, let's look over here. What's this say? I think we hiked through this. White Blaze is AT, of course. AT. Let's check out the sign real quick. So Appalachian Trail. What does it say? Appalachian Trail, Mount Rogers Summit, four and a half miles. So that's like the distance between. Yeah. Wilderness Max. I thought it said Group Ten. Yeah, <laughs> shine right here. No way I can. Mount Rogers Summit, four and a half. All right. Onwards. So we just went through the boundary gate. So what this does is this takes us into the uh, wilderness proper. Now this, this is, is where the camping can happen. This is Lewis Fork. Jefferson, Jefferson National, National Forest. Okay, we're on the Arrow. AT Trail. Going Mount Rogers. Mount Rogers. Spur Trail. Two miles. VA Highlands, Linville Falls Trail Spring. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. <laughs> uh, onwards. You can barely read it. All right. Here. Look at me for a second. All right, guys. We are uh, three, four, five. I guess we're at five miles. Yeah, right? something. Yeah. We're about five miles in, and we're getting closer to our destination, which is the the yeah. shelter we've decided. So Mount Rogers is yonder. Appalachian Trail is that way. Or the den den Dendron Gap. <laughs> Greater Dendron is that way we too. Need, we need food. Yes, big time, dude. Um, what does it say? I know camping your fires down this point. Okay, so. Um, yeah, so we're gonna pop off this way. We came that way. 
Huh? We came that way. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, onwards. <laughs> All right, guys. Let me turn this off. I've got this light right here, and I cannot believe how bright it is. Look at that. I can see Stefan. Look at this shit. It's like a, it's like a flood. Um. So we found our spot. We're about five and a half, almost five and a half miles in from the, where we parked. It's getting extremely cold, so we really need to. Oh well, yeah, the, the cold, the temperature is not waiting. We've uh, stopped. We've, we've stopped moving, and that creates a problem. Yeah, I'm gonna set everything up, and then we'll we'll get back to the camera. All right, guys, we're back in the tent. Looks like, what is that? Yeah, that looks like rain. That doesn't look like snow, does it? Nature got with us. Stefan's next door. And his next really nice looking black diamond tent. Hello. It looks really good on camera, actually. It's kind of glowing. It's a, it's a nice tent for certain things. Uh, we got jet boil. We are eating chicken and mashed potato dinner. We got some hot sauce. I'm feeling it hot sauce. I couldn't find sriracha, so this is the jalapeno, but it's yellow bird. And yellow bird puts in so uh, jalapeno peppers, organic carrots, vinegar, it. onions, garlic, cane uh, sugar, salt, lime. That's fucking awesome. So. We'll be adding that to this, and then uh, you gotta have breakfast skillet in the morning. There's a ton of hot sauce, so that's good. But yeah, let's go ahead and get this boiled up and start enjoying the evening. All right, guys, we'll update in the tent. Just got done eating our food, and oh, let's see here. We ate chicken and mashed potato dinner. It was really awesome. So much that I didn't even film anything because I was extremely hungry. But one thing I will film is these toe warmers. It is like the best hack I've ever found. So you get this pack of toe warmers and I got this adhesive on them. And then all you do gotta do is you peel the adhesive off. Do not put this on bare skin, only put this uh on if you have socks on. You're gonna take it and just put it like that. I usually put it like right there. And then the adhesive sticks. And these things are activated by moisture in the air. That's how they turn on. So you take them out of the pack, they turn on, and this will be the best sleep in 32 degree weather there you will ever have. Put them on like that. Yep, that's it. And you're gonna be warm and toasty all night. Hey right, guys, it's 1.50 in the morning. Get ready to head off to bed. And this is what we've been looking for the whole time. So we got a little bit of signal here. And just started snowing. And it's supposed to snow from now. Not sure why that's not in focus. Anyway, it's supposed to be starting now until 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> so, 
a little bit delayed, but it's here. So it's the whole reason we were coming out. So that's pretty awesome. But I'm gonna get a couple hours of sleep before I actually um, get everything ready. I've got all the batteries and stuff in my sleeping bag, keeping them warm because it is right at about. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's 36 degrees right now, but the wind chill is about uh, makes it feel about 28 degrees. So, so add that in there. Boom. Because now they're calling for 10 to 16 inches of snow. So yeah, we'll get this. Uh, I got some batteries charging right now. Get everything topped off, and we'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is 4:13 in the morning, and we're about to take a peek out here. I just had to shake the tent because it's got some snow build up. All right, let's go ahead and zip here. Get our glimpse of what's happening outside. Oh yeah. I think we got some uh I think we got some snow. That's awesome. Okay, that's really cold, so we're gonna go back inside. Alright. Keeping her warm here. What do we got? Alright, it's not 32, it's 30 outside. And it is with the wind, it feels like 19. We got snow for the hour. So it's 417. It was gonna snow till 9 a.m. And it's gonna get even colder. So we went from like 36 to 30 degrees. Um, at 6 a.m. it's gonna go down to 27. 8 a.m. it's gonna go down to 23. And then at 10 a.m. it's gonna be 21 degrees, so. Let's see how much daylight we have to get some footage of the, the snow outside. I'm not sure how bright it's going to be with uh, with that much snow coming in. Yeah, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's morning time. It is 7:26 in the morning, and let's find out our phone here the temperature. Okay, we got 23 degrees, 12 degree wind chill. I think this will be about the last hour of snow. Let's see what it looks like outside. If we can even see. Oh wow. That looks so wild. some plan I'm not sure what the plan is probably just food and coffee and just figuring it out so uh, hopefully about an hour the snow will die down and then we can get out and take some
pretty badass pictures. All right, guys, well, we definitely picked it. It is gorgeous outside. There should be ending in about an hour. So, I have some ported egg and some food. The wind will still be there, I'm assuming. But, yeah. Not too bad. All right, guys, back up again. What time is it? It is 8.06. And, Stefan's tent ended up being in the right orientation because he can actually crack his door open, but it's blowing straight in here, into mine. Um, I'm gonna try to figure out how to make breakfast in here. It's gonna be very weird. All right, guys, we're gonna take a walk. Explore the... Uh, Siberia. <laughs> That's what it looks like in, outside the tent. It's a lot of snow. That is a lot of snow. Wow. Lost snow. We knew that, but actually looking at it is uh, impressive. Okay, that's yeah, Stefan. All the snow, all the winds come there, so I've got my back to it now. One of these is the trail we came in on. Only up to my wrist. Finally, we got what we asked for. All right, it's time to make some coffee. Likely, we got a good water source here. So, I'm gonna get some of that. Set this back up. The last thing I need is a big old cloud of uh, <laughs> gas in the tent. <laughs> So you guys, this is how you...
Okay, I'll tell you the secret to melting snow. So you have to add just a little bit of water to the bottom or your Nalgene will, uh, will start to melt or the jacket, like the insulating jacket on it. So it just heads up. Gonna have, needs like some base to, to melt to. Yep, just like that, it'll start to just start to do its thing. And you have to melt a ton of snow to get pretty much anything. When we were on uh, Mount Rainier, we went through like a whole jug of gas. So there was definitely not a day two. <laughs> but, I oh, get a little bit of a twig in there. That's okay, we'll filter it out when we do our coffee. Because this is actually a pour over. And so when we open this up, it's actually gonna have um, uh, like its own filter set up here, so. It does not smell terrible. Anyway, what you gotta do is uh, shake it, get all the grounds to the bottom, and then you're gonna tear this top off. And then when you open it, there's a little basket, and then there's these little wings on the side that sit on the side of your cup. So that's what we're gonna we're gonna do right now, put those right there. They're kind of springy, so be careful. This cup's a little wide. All right, can I get that stupid piece of trash in there? That's all right.
I don't know where that light went. Where'd the flashlight go. There it is. Yeah, I do need, I just need a little bit more for coffee. Just a tad bit. what the temperature is now. Seven degree wind chill, still snow till 10. Another hour. That's fun. this for our food later. Just gonna let this brew. And that's how you make coffee. All right, next up we have our breakfast skillet. Skillet has the shredded potatoes and that's what you want. The other one has like big chunky eggs. It's not that good. So breakfast skillet, it's the best thing for the morning. So we got that, and if we go back here, we need one and a quarter cups, so I was looking at the milliliters, so we got 296, so I'm gonna fill it up to 300. And I found that uh, one Nalgene will give you like dinner, a cup of coffee, and then breakfast. That's about how much water you'll, you'll use. Um, and then you'll have this much left over just to, to drink on if you need to. Then I have an additional three liters inside this backpack. So four liters for this trip. All right, so I need to take this off. Gas on here. All 
All right, got that going. So once it gets boiling, we'll just take this, we'll put it, um, we'll wait five minutes, reseal, and then after we open it after five minutes, we'll stir it, and then we'll let it sit for four more minutes and then it'll be ready. And then make sure you always take out the oxygen absorber. It's like a little packet inside. It won't kill you if you cook it with it, but it's it's not good. So anyway, that is breakfast. Oh yeah, I guess I'll show you guys. So I just ripped the top off. So this, this is what you want to take out. Don't eat that. And make sure you have this ready so you can stir it up when you put the hot water in. Because there's like seasonings and stuff, you want to make sure it's all mixed together. Get as hot as possible. Okay, so once that's in, really stir this up. Good. Five minutes. I guess I'll give you a little tour of the tent. Um, the way I have it set up. So, I've got my inflatable mattress here. Um, I'll go back through and put all the <clears throat> descriptions so you guys can get it if you want it. Um, I think this is the Neo Air X Therm Max, my Thermarest. And it has such a good R value that you can literally sleep on a frozen lake. So it's really good. It's really perfect for today. Um, I kind of fold it up, use it like a backrest. This one I got off a uh, like REI garage sale. It's just a REI um, 15 degree sleeping bag. I don't know if it's called zero degree. Um, 15 is comfort and like seven degree is danger or something like that. Um, and then the very, very back, I've got the uh, Sea to Summit, I think it's Arrows pillow. Um, anyway, I'll put, it'll be right here. And then on this side, I always keep my camera and stuff like that on the side, all my charging cables, and then it kind of moves into um, my dry bag gear. And besides the camera, cables and cords, there's this little pack. This thing houses everything that I need. So like first aid kit, Advil, um, like my spork, energy gels, and hot hands, toe warmers. And I got a charging bank. Um, you saw me using this for the jet boil. Um, sometimes the lighter doesn't work. And this is the dry bag. So this dry bag is what keeps um, like an extra pair of dry socks, which is really important. Um, and then pretty much any type of... Uh, um, there's a little bag for trash and stuff like that. So I keep it all in here so I don't have to keep cleaning the tent up I just put it in here so it's got like all that stuff in there and then I'll also put this cable bag in here so it stays dry so anything that needs to be waterproof goes in this uh, 8 liter Sea to Summit E-Vac event bag and I got the uh, Osprey 65 AG, something like that. Um, this thing is amazing. This is uh, the Lumen Aid. I use this thing all the time. It's got solar panels so it can charge. It's got USB right here. Man, that thing's awesome. It's a really cool light. Uh, then over here, I always keep the jet boil over there. And then 
food foods over here. And the food usually goes into another bag, but I didn't bring it. Um, so like the food will go in a separate bag. We'll go into this, and then that will go in the bag, out of the backpack. So it's all like just nice and neat, one one bag to put back in when you're packing up. Um, it has definitely been five minutes, so that means our food is ready. Oh yeah, that's perfect. I always keep my spork in here, so I'm not like put it on the ground. Yeah, yeah, it should be snapping right now. All right, so we're gonna just stir that up and let it sit for a couple more minutes. But you really gotta bring hot sauce, man. That is what you gotta do. Oh yeah, this is my belt. And I'm gonna be making another cup of coffee later, but probably won't film that. All right. Stefan. You alive? Yeah. Stefan is awake. He's alive. He's alive. What do you think, man? Pretty incredible, man. Ugh. How high is that, uh... Oh, wait, I'm, I'm boiling. One second. Boiling. Could be danger in the tent. I'd say that snow drift is probably... Yeah, I'd say a foot and a half. Easy. Yeah. Easy. <gasps> okay. Guys. Oh, my God. Figure out what we're going so man i might just like yeah i'm gonna pack up and then just go to the uh shelter to boil possibly okay i don't know i would i'm just saying i would do it here because uh uh i already I already hiked the trail a little bit yeah and man it's like like once we start, we're gonna probably want to keep going. Like I mean, exactly, we we'll have exactly. plenty of time to like take photos and video and shit. We want we want to keep moving. I hear you. Slow apocalypse. Slow yeah, I think we're gonna be very. It's gonna be very interesting to see uh, what what the car look, situation looks like. Yeah. I wonder what Charlotte's doing. Or uh, sorry, Hickory or Conover. Nobody. Uh, I sent that video. Nobody. Nobody commented on that video, which is very weird. Ah, oh. oh, snow's starting again in 20 minutes. Really? Yeah, dude. Oh, I'm telling you. That? I'm telling you, this 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 storm, it's like, uh, let's see if I can record it now. Uh-oh. Uh, dude, it's, it looks like a lava lamp. <laughs> I wonder if Raleigh got snow. That's... Oh, man. I don't know. It's a very weird pattern. Oh. Yeah, it'll be over here in a minute. There's one little tail. Yeah, one little tail of snow coming back. The thing is, it's only going to keep getting colder. That's 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 the that's the danger with what us. Happened? The danger with us not leaving in like the next uh, hour yeah. is it's, it's going to keep getting colder. Oh. It's not warming up today. Yeah, we should definitely then figure that out. Uh, cause it's it's um. It's five degree wind chill now. <laughs> Dude, I'm in full ski outfit. I'm not sure how you're gonna make it. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, I don't know, man. D to me, rain gear is basically snow, snow ski gear in this yeah. in this type of weather. You're not wrong. Okay. All right, man, this food is going to be incredible. See guys, if you just wait about twice as long from the directions, it gets really, really good. I have to give credit to Stefan for kind of getting me into hot sauce here, because... <laughs> that wasn't me, there's no way. You know, my life was bland before hot sauce. I mean, come on, hot sauce on eggs? And hash browns in the morning? You kidding me? 
All right, guys, well, I'm gonna enjoy this food. I'm gonna charge up the GoPro and get ready for the uh, hitting the trail. So we'll see you out there in a minute. All right, guys. Start packing this up. Let's do a final, let's do a final weather check here. It's uh, 10:13 and 19 degrees. Feels like three degrees. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. 19 feels like three. I'm just half-assing my. Uh... My pet at this point. Oh, dude, dude, mine's gonna be, mine's gonna be a joke. That's that's all I gotta say. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna really put too much love in it. Huh? I don't remember Rainier being this cold. Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's the sign we passed yesterday. Obviously there's no snow. Today, there's a lot of snow. And this is a lot. right it's downhill so I'm excited there's my water it's completely frozen I'll show you a solution for that that I didn't do well I have the insulated hose I just didn't put it on oh yeah they make an insulated hose so it doesn't freeze but what you really need to do in conditions like this which is so cold is you know boil some water yeah. and then right before you leave camp you know, pour it back in your bag. You know what they do in Poland? Huh? You know what they do in Poland? What? They just put a ton of salt in the water, then it doesn't freeze. Oh yeah, well that's actually good for hiking. How deep can you go in the snow? Like you're not catching these crazy little rocks and yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, it feels good. Guess they'll come off at some point, but this is great. <laughs> First hike of the year. Oh yeah. And we get like 12 inches of snow. I'm sure it's more than that, but try not to overdo it. All right, guys. On the one day X Mark II. I just want to get some more footage because the GoPro died. We're three miles away from the car. So we'll be there. We're doing a mile probably every 30 minutes, so whatever that comes to. Yeah. It's so nice.
I don't know how much my face is frozen, but this has been such a nice hike. So nice. You can kind of see what's around me here. It's just so beautiful. I mean, look at that. There's so much snow. I mean, so we are about less than two miles from the car. We've already hiked about two miles, so yeah, we'll be there in just a little bit. We're, we're basically heading back towards 600, yep. road 600 or whatever it okay. is. Okay. So two miles. Two miles left. And at our pace, we should get there in an hour. Yep, we get there in about an hour, and uh, yeah, so if you guys want to see the wind conditions down here, look at that. That carved around the bottom of the tree. And then also, this side of the sign, you can read it. The other side of the sign, super frosty. This is the, we're going from the, uh, we're going for, from the wilderness area um, to the other park. So you gotta cross over this to uh, get into the state park. 25.3, we're half a mile. Half a mile. State park, no camping is allowed. Yeah. All right, well, we're just gonna truck it on to the van. We should be there in about 30 minutes. Dude, I've never been so happy to barely see my van. <laughs> Guys, it is extremely cold out here. I'm talking extreme. It's the coldest. It's the coldest that we've, ever, we've never done anything like this. I mean, Mount Rainier, no. Grayson, I mean, grandfather, no. This is this is wild. The the wind chill. When we get in the van, can we check out this wind chill. I bet it's gonna be insane. Yeah, man. So let's get in the van. Let's, let's do this. Wow. Of course, Stefan locks the gate on me. It's okay. He's got an important appointment. <laughs> yeah. Alright, 
guys were in Damascus. Check it out. We went to a Damascus diner and uh my calf muscles man. <laughs> you feel it? Yeah yeah yeah. We went. We went to Damascus Diner. It was good. It was really good we food. Ate all their food stores. Yeah we had just about everything they had but um I ate way too much food which is really good but it's time to go back to the house. Got a two hour drive, so let's do it. All right guys, we are back from Grayson Highlands, back here at the warehouse, uh, putting all the uh, videos up on the computer, getting them off the uh, SD cards and all that good stuff, so look forward to this video coming out. Um, it was an awesome trip. The van did fantastic. The, uh, these tires, these BFGs, man, they were awesome, because um, when we were leaving, uh, it's pretty tough to get out so there's about 11 inches that fell and up in the mountains and I think there was about let me see how much was on the uh, I think at least like six, six inches on the highway something like that but when we got to the van snow everywhere the van did not get stuck which is pretty awesome and we actually went to Damascus diner which you probably saw a little clip of in this video but uh, yeah, I just wanted to uh, end it with a little bit of van footage um, since we are building vans to let you know that uh, this van did awesome and had a ton of snow up here. So it's still, sun's still melting it. But uh, yeah, Nova and I, we're getting ready to uh, grab some food. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next adventure.